Okay. This is uh, just a walk and talk or a walk and talk? A walk and talk. Okay, so great. this Good. is the Pacific School for Innovation Inquiry. This is Jeff Hopkins, and he's leading our tour today, all masked up and everything. So. All masked up as, as per normal yeah. nowadays. Well, this is where you come into the school in the morning, and we check everybody in and do their the highly invasive health questions that we ask everybody as they come in every morning. Yeah. <laughs> um, our schedule over here, um, where we uh, where people can see what's what the day entails in terms of what the school has scheduled for them. Yeah. The things that aren't on there are what people have scheduled for themselves. Yeah. Um, they can access this through Google, of course, too. So most people, most of the kids already see this on their devices. Yeah. But it's here just to remind you as you come in the door. Oh, great. Um, this is our, well, is our, called our collaborative space, but this year it's less collaborative only because we, uh, we're learning to find ways of getting people to sit together our little four by four yeah. uh, or two by two plexiglass thingies and tables. And we're sl adding more of those in to try to make it easier for people to collaborate. Yeah. We got a lot of people behind plexiglass right now. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> that's the way it goes. Um, let's, uh, let's go down this way. Okay. Lab here. This is our lab. Um, again, we've had to, uh, it's always been small, but now we are doing some things where we'll prepare people for the lab and then allow one or two people to come in and sort of follow the lab themselves, almost more university style, where they follow the lab instructions yeah. and carry out the lab. So um, that's been working really well, and it's actually added a little level of independence that we didn't try before. So yeah. it's been working pretty well, actually, all, all things considered. <laughs> and if they get stuck, they just Ask for one of the yep, yep. And, there's, and there's usually a teacher in here, yeah. you know, sort of in and out or or in here right. the whole time, so yeah. just sort of helping like an assistant as needed. Yeah, and we find out that it's not needed that much actually, yeah. so it's good. Oh, great with good preparation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, let's see, maybe I'll show the sensory room. Yeah, uh, this is um, this is a room that uh, learners can book themselves into. Uh, as needed, um, and this was an experiment that a, one of the learners here started about four years ago now. Mm -hmm. But it was the idea was you could come in and sort of decompress, um, destimulate if you needed to, uh, just get away from everything for a few minutes. Some people come in and meditate. Some people just come in for you know maybe ten minutes, uh, just have a seat, don't do anything, keep close their eyes, whatever it might be, yeah. and then they're good to go. Um, we as as premium as space is right now, as we try to figure out where to put everybody during the, this, you know, trying to distancing everyone, yeah. um, we've kept this, and it's it's very very important yeah. to the learners, and we we it was a high priority, so we yeah. kept it. Like the bean bag yeah. down there, and then the tapestry on the ceiling yeah. there. Yeah. I was trying to say the weighted blanket uh, hang, oh, hanging yeah. on the chair that we just cleaned. And, uh, I think there used to be a lava lamp in here last time, but yeah. we got a crystal to take we got its the place. Crystal, yeah, we got the the salt crystal lamp now. <laughs> yeah. Take its place right there. Yeah. Oh, very cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a relaxing, relaxing little place. Yeah, that's a great idea. It works. Yeah, especially in stressful times. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Uh, this is a maybe just a sample room that we're using right now. That uh, uh, this would normally this used to be our our tech room. Yeah. Um, we've moved that to a new space, and I'll show you that soon. But this yeah. is now. Uh, a place where maybe three or four people can, four learners can meet with a teacher. Yeah. And then we've got our sort of cashier style shield so that um, sometimes this room is where a teacher might sit uh, by themselves and do a Zoom session. Oh, okay. Sometimes they're in here with people and a Zoom session. Yeah. Um, some people really need to be in person. They really, yeah. it is not their thing. They, yeah. they really need to be around a person. That's yeah. <laughs> so what we have learned. So, um, and, and then sometimes it's just to meet with a small group. And yeah. so that this, this works right now. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's it works. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's good. It's it's been different, but good. Another little room, kind of the same situation. Yeah. Actually, this is quite a maze. The arrows here probably would have been helpful for the inversion tour. For I know. I think we might, <laughs> we might we might leave the arrows forever. <laughs> they really are helpful. Yeah. It's a maze. Yeah, we've taken over this office sort of space and turned it into a school, which is never what it was intended yeah. to be at all. But it works. It works really well for us. Yeah. Um, this is uh, this was our uh, it's still our library. This was our quiet space. We've taken over another new little space for that. So this yeah. is now also a, a more collaborative space. Yeah. Uh, again, it's organized not in the way that we would normally organize it for the way we do things, but we're, this is you know pandemic organization. Yeah. So uh, we've separated everybody out where where there's grouping, there's plexiglass barriers, all that yeah. kind of thing. 
and the books are on the wall. The yeah. the, the library, the old well, library. The library's still there, yeah. and uh, the old yeah, the good old book style library, and heavily used. Uh, I have to say, um, anyone who thinks kids aren't reading books, they're reading books like crazy. And yeah. So we we're downtown Victoria. We're often running over to Russell Books to pick up the next thing that somebody yeah. needs for something that they're doing. They're still very very popular. Yeah, we bought um, some some uh, some ebooks. Uh, a few years ago, thinking that's what everyone would use. Nobody, nobody touches them. Yeah, not a single person. Yeah. They, they like books. Well, that's great that you've got the library then. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. really, it's interesting. Uh, over here, this is kind of our um, another bit of seating, but also a tech area. So yeah. we've got our all our camera gear and our video gear for oh, going yeah. out on shoot. A bunch of things are out right now because someone's actually making yeah. a movie right now. Um, we've got our you know 3D printer, and yeah. then we've got uh, kind of just our tech. Uh, repair and maintenance area yeah where we're actually should we have learners actually manage all of our tech here including our Wi-Fi network and yeah. a lot of helping with software installations and things like that yeah this is kind of the, the center for all of that oh, great. a bit of electronics we have a cupboard full of um, Arduinos and Raspberry Pis yeah. and all that kind of thing so this is sort of where yeah that happens or at least starts yeah no that's great a lot of great tools for kids who want to dig into it absolutely yeah, yeah. heavily heavily used stuff <laughs> We'll pop into the music room. Okay. Um, so this uh, again uh, set up a little bit strangely right now because we have to use this room to meet sometimes yeah. for other things, but we still are able to use it as a music room. Um, we have a lot of instruments uh, in here. A lot of learners who are learning instruments for the very first time, or they're really good at an instrument. They're practicing. Um, small, small uh, uh, ad hoc bands come together um, and. Uh, we also have sort of a school band that meets a couple times a week and is playing yeah. together. Uh, all, just lots of music writing um, and lots of theory. So yeah. it's a heavily used room. A lot yeah. of music comes into people's inquiries pretty easily. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. Lots of music. Yeah. <laughs> We've been working with Catherine Calder this year, who's doing the uh, Victoria Artist in Residence. Oh, and yeah. So she's been doing songwriting yeah. with us, which is pretty great when Catherine Calder comes into school. Oh, yeah. It's pretty wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so this is our art and maker area. Oh, okay. um, we've kept it kind of the combination of two and we're just adding a, a pottery wheel. We yeah. acquired a pottery wheel over the summer and we're just re redoing the space and yeah. it's a bit of a mess right now. Um, but uh, everything's kind of on, everything's on wheels and pretty yeah. portable so that we can re reorganize the space as yeah. needed, especially this year. So art supplies there and more sort of tools and woodworking almost over there and yeah, yeah. seem to be pottery. Yeah, it seemed to be pottery, and yeah. then and then those things all sort of mixed together from time to time, which yeah. uh, we've been happy about, rather than making pretending that those things yeah. are separate. Yeah. It's been very nice to kind of mix it all together. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been great. Um, our kitchen, which we're not allowed to use as a kitchen right now, yeah, <laughs> because we're not allowed to do cooking. Um, here it is. So it's just a. It, normally, yeah, <laughs> we do quite a bit of cooking in here actually, but. Uh, this year, it's it's just a more space. of a study yeah. area, yeah. yeah, and it's been fine. It's you know yeah. people like to gather in kitchens anyway, so yeah. it hasn't been that bad. It just yeah. feels like the learners are gathering around someone's kitchen at their yeah. house or something. So yeah, it's okay. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah, um, I'll just show you a couple more yeah. spots. I'm just down our long hallway here. Or one more spot, I guess. Thank you. Okay, I won't take you into the dark room yet, but back at the end of that hallway, just we're just building a uh, photography dark oh, cool. room right now. Like, with like the chemicals cool and everything. Fashion. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's fun. Um, well, well good there. chemistry, uh, hands-on chemistry at the very least. Absolutely, yeah, very good. Oh, um, so this is new. I don't recognize this. Yeah, so we just reclaimed this space, and this is our new quiet space. So people yeah. who really need to be, they just need absolute quiet. They yeah. just do not want to be talking. They don't want to be hearing people talking. Um, they come in here, um, yeah. and it work, it's been working really well. It's been yeah. a nice little addition. Oh, good. Um, and again, you know, everybody's all divided yeah. up by plastic squares. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's that's what you we're do doing. What you have to do. We had to put our little blue corners on the plastic because people kept running into the into them. So we yeah. had to put a little marker on there so you can oh, see where the yeah. edge of it was. So yeah. yeah, so yeah, those are all getting decorated daily now. So yeah. that's been pretty good too. Basically, the third floor of the library at UVA. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> this is the third floor of the library. Yeah. The, yeah. Just what our three three six students will recognize. That's right. That's right. And that's uh, that's the place. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks for.